<coughs> Next definition is processing delay. So this is as we mentioned processing delay if you see the amount of time taken by the router to process a packet. Suppose this is the router, router R1. So you have the buffer here, many packets is there. Assume that it is taken first packet. So after taking that packet, this first packet it is taken, it will see the destination, it will pick the destination IP address, right? It will take the destination IP address from this packet because it is mentioned in the uh, in, in in this it will mention the source address destination address as we see in the different headers in the header which is added by the network layer in that header you will get the destination IP from this destination IP you have to be extract network IP what is network IP and what is uh, network part simply network part and uh, host part as we seen while discussing uh, in uh, uh, IP4, we seen that this network part and host part. So that it will have to be extract the network part. Simply for this, to understand this one, let us take one example. Suppose you are posting a letter. So while posting a letter, you will write your name, right? Then you will write some street address, some something she will write then uh, city you will write then you will write state okay this is the hierarchy you will write uh, in your address so if you see here whenever this this address seen by the postman in particular a post office he will suppose you are sending this this letter from Kerala to AP. You are sending this letter from Kerala to AP. So this will be in the from address. This is in to address. In the to address, in post office which is located in Kerala, that postman is looking this address. So he no need to consider these things, right? Name, street, city. He will see only the state. So that state is not same as his state. So he have to forward to the first AP state. So that's why he is not considering these three parameters. He only can means in this case this will become the network ID. So this network ID he is extracting in this case. Same way here also you have the network part and local part, host part. So it is extracting the host part. Then after extracting the host part, he have to be look in his routing table like uh, after extracting the ap to which direction to he have to forward so that he will look in in his uh, tables or in his uh, data whatever he is maintaining in the post office he will look he came to know that this have to be forward in particular direction so same like searching in routing table So that he came to know that which direction he have to forward, then it will send means send in the better not sending, it will decide the route. Okay, by seeing this routing table, it is going to decide the route. So this all together we are taking as a processing delay. So obviously it will take some time to perform all these actions so that's why this is also one of the delay we are considering here so that is called as processing delay and one more thing here you have to consider is processing will delay is not depending on the packet size or is not depending on the content of the packet suppose one packet is 40 kb and header is 40 bytes Suppose another packet is 80 kb and header size is 40. Another packet is assume 150 kb 
and head size is possible. So processing time is independent to this content because it is not going to do anything on this content of the packet, data of the packet because it need only the header part. In the header part it will get all these things so that because this header is constant right constant to every packet so that it is <coughs> it is not depending on the content of this if you consider this example whatever be the you are posting a letter or you are posting a sending a parcel or you are posting something big uh, material if you are sending he no, no, no need to bother about the thing what you are posting what you are sending he will see the only destination uh, address from address to address then basing on that he will decide the route so same case here also header is always constant so that's why it is independent to the content of this packet or size of this packet so this is something about processing delay